In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do this mirrored effect or stacked effect. Let's go! Now I'm starting with a black background. The dimensions is 4500 pixels by 5400 pixels. First thing we're going to do is set our guides. Image, guides, new guide by percent, horizontal 50%, okay. Image, guides, new guide by percent, vertical 50%, okay. Now we're going to go to our text. You want to select a nice thick text. I'm going with chunk fire today. Let's add our text. Let's type in 2022, shift home. Let's resize that. Since I've done this already, I know a good size is 1500. Enter. Go to your move tool. Put that right in the center. Now go to layer. Crop the content. That way it will be dead center. Now what you want to do is duplicate this layer. So just duplicate. Grab your move tool. Bring the copy down a little bit. Now on your copied layer, grab your select by color tool, select the white. And what you want to do is select shrink. Now since my font size is 1500, shrinking it by 20 gives me a nice outline. So I'm going to shrink it by 20. Okay. Now you see how it's shrunk in a little bit. The outline is in. And now all you have to do is hit delete. And that gives you just an outline with a letter, but it's the same size as your original. And that's what we're going for. Select none. Now here, what you want to do is make a copy of this layer of your outline. So duplicate that. Grab your move tool. And put move one, keep it centered, move it above to the locks on the horizontal axis. And the second one, same thing, lock it to the horizontal axis on the bottom. Now, what I like to do is I'm going to move our original to the top and turn that off. Turn off the top layer. Now, grab your rectangle select tool. Make a rectangle the same size as this current outline. Put one right there. On the sides, you want to go out a little bit more to make sure you erase everything properly. And I'll tell you why that's important in a minute. Okay. Try not too low. Let me see here. Perfect. Okay, now what you want to do is select any of the copies, either the top or the bottom. It's right here, I'm selecting the top, and just hit delete. Do the same thing for the bottom. Select it, hit delete. What, that's, what that does, it cuts out, it's cutting out half, which is exactly what you want. Now select none. Now I have the bottom half selected. You want to duplicate that twice. It's one, two. Now grab your move tool and let's move them down. Keep it on the center axis. There you go. Now move the other one. And there you are. You want to do the same thing for the top. Select that, duplicate twice, and move up. One copy up. Second copy to the top. Keep it centered on your guide. Now we're going to turn on the original layer. And there you are. And now let me just zoom in a little bit just to make sure there isn't many gaps. So grab, stay with, still with your move tool. Let's just bring it in, close that gap a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. There you go. Same thing here. Same thing on the top. Top one looks good. Let's do the bottom. Move that up. Okay. That one looks good and that one looks good. All right. Zoom back out so I can take a look at it. All right. Looks pretty good. Now with this, 
2002 obviously we're going for a class of my next font it's gonna be I think I used hey October go or hey August let's see if this is the one I click somewhere outside completely outside of any of the previous text just click down here just type in class if I could spell of shift home and we're gonna make this one a thousand pixels there we go you know what let's turn it red there we go okay grab remove tool and let's bring it up now this layer you want to put this on the very top as well there it goes and give it a little angle grab your rotate tool Click on it and just give a little rotate. Doesn't have to be much. Let's go with that. Rotate. Move tool. And that looks pretty good right there. And there you go. Class of 2022. If this has helped you, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.